today's video I'm going to share with you guys what I have for breakfast lunch and dinner for today so if you're interested just keep on watching and if you like while you're watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up also share with your friends and family and please don't forget to subscribe that way you won't miss any of my future videos so about 30 minutes to an hour later I take my probiotics which I have two of them let me show you which ones um, I take so these are two of my favorite. This one is called Health Aid Kombucha, and it has it's in the flavor of pomegranate. These actually last me three days since I divide these into three portions. And then I also have the Suja. This one is the digestin one, and it has ginger. I believe they also have two immunity ones. Um, my favorite one is the is the elderberry one. But for today, I'll be taking this one. Meanwhile, I'm going to soak my walnuts and my chia seeds with my almond milk in, in this cup. This is not my favorite milk, but this one was the only one available. Um, I prefer other brands, but it is what it is. So let me show you how I do that. I usually like soaking the nuts overnight, but Last night I forgot, so this is why I just soaked them for a few minutes with my milk. So now I'm just going to add my fruit, which I'll be using a, a banana. And then also I'm going to add my protein powder, which I like this one by Guardian of Life. It's just the organic protein in the flavor vanilla. going to add a little bit more milk. I also forgot to mention that I take my vitamin D, my vitamin C, and a flaxseed oil as well with my breakfast. Okay, so I'm a little bit more presentable by now. It's about 11.30, so I'm going to start prepping our lunch. Um, but meanwhile, I'm going to have a lunch. So for lunch, I am going to be making some wraps. Um, they're very quick and easy just because I am running low on groceries. But I'm going to be using these um, coconut wraps. I purchased these from Amazon. And then they're from the brand Nuco. And then it, it comes in a pack of two. So I will be using these with my so obviously you can add whatever you want to your wrap. 
but like I said, I'm running low on groceries. It's been about three weeks since we last went grocery shopping. So I'm going to match this avocado, add a little bit of salt to it, and then I'm going to grill this. Um, just add a little bit of this um, garlic salt to it. And then I'm also going to grill this onion, whatever is left of it, with a tomato. And then I'm going to be using my, my avocado oil to, to, to cook that. And also I'm going to top it off with some hemp seeds.
I'm also going to add some of this cumin pepper to the zucchini. Now I do like spicy food, so I just have this salsa I made, it's it's habanero salsa, so I'll be pouring a little bit of that in my wrap, but this is totally optional, of course. Okay, so now it's time to, to try this out. Mm. So delicious. This year I promised myself that uh, I wasn't going to drink any coffee. So I've been replacing it with teas or um, just other drinks I guess <laughs> and one of them is a matcha iced drink so I'm actually craving that right now <laughs> I'm gonna prepare it with you guys and I'm going to add a different ingredient um, I just purchased it on Amazon it just arrived this week and I have not tried it yet it's the um it's a pistachio flavor I don't know how it's gonna taste with the matcha. I'm going to experiment with, experiment with that right now. Um, it, this actually has no pistachio at all. It's just natural flavors. So I'm going to see if I like it. If not, well, I guess I'll skip it for next time. So let's try it out. Okay, so first I'm going to add some ice to my glass cup. About four ice cubes. Then I'm going to fill it up about three quarts of the cup, well, of this glass cup, with milk. Again, I don't like this milk, but this is all that was left in the store, about there. We need some more, I'll add some more at the end. Okay, now I'm going to use this organic matcha powder. Make sure it's a culinary grade. I found this at Walmart. It contains 3.5 ounces and it was about $10, so I'll be using this one. I'm going to use one teaspoon. And I'm going to put it on my strainer. Okay, and I'm just going to, to strain it. That way the powder can be a little finer and you will feel the powder on your drink, in your drink. And then I'm going to add one fourth cup of hot water and I'm going to stir. I don't have a matcha whisk so I'm just going to be using this for now. I'm 
That was a little messy. Okay, now I'm going to pour the matcha in my milk. Now here's the tricky part. I usually just add this almond creamer just to my taste buds really like it. <laughs> I don't really have a measurement for this. But since I'm going to use using the, the pistachio flavor, I'm going to add about one eighth of a teaspoon of this. I don't know if that's gonna be too much. Maybe I'll just add one drop at a time and I'll be tasting to see if I like it or not. We'll see. I will add some of the almond creamer because it does not taste like nothing. I am going to add just another. Whoops. So I'm not catching the flavor. Maybe the matcha powder is a little overpowering for the pistachio flavor. This is trial and error, so we'll see. Okay, I'm not really tasting the pistachio, so I'm just going to add my milk that was a total fail i have to keep on experimenting with that <laughs> measurements and all of that stuff but anyways this is so so good yeah it's definitely a favorite if you try it at home let me know if you really enjoy this drink Also, if any of you guys know where I can get a hold of a more, not organic, but a more um, a concentrated extract or pistachio flavor, um, one of these thingies, please let me know because look at the ingredients here and none of them list the pistachio at all. It's just natural flavors. And I would really like something that has real pistachios. <laughs> so if you know anything, let me know. That way I can try it out, please. Where did time go? I have no idea. It's already five o'clock and I'm going to have my dinner. This was not the planned dinner that I had, but sometimes things are unexpected. Um, I just finished right now with my kids homeschool. I have two kids that are in homeschool and I just finished grading their papers right now and sending all of the homework to the teachers and um, this past week has been a little rough on everyone um, with the with the winter storm but um, we haven't had water for the past seven days and we have been struggling obviously and finally there's a little bit of sun today showing up and melting all the snow but bad news is that we still don't have water because our pipes bursted so my husband went to go buy some 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 pipes for all the plumbing work that he has to do hopefully he can fix that by today that way we can have water ASAP and he was very sweet and called me if if, a, if we wanted a takeout for tonight so of course I was gonna take the opportunity and I said yes and he brought us Burger King um, so that's gonna be my dinner tonight I'm gonna have um, I ordered well, I asked him to order me the Impossible Whopper. Um, and then a small french fry. And also a unsweet tea. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm, I'm going to have tonight. I am so hungry. Time flew by. <laughs> it's, been, it's been rough, like I said, but it'll be... It has to pass at some point, I guess. <laughs> we just have to do what we can and cope with it. So yeah, 
I always ask for no mayo on my burger. I prefer this one, the Hellman's Vegan Mayo. It just tastes better, but I forgot something to scoop it out with. One second. I'm back with it. So, yeah, guys, I just want to close this video here and um, send love and hope that everybody affected by this is okay or, you know, can have some some internal peace and mental peace as well and if you lost to a loved one i am i'm so sorry um but this video really turned into another direction um so yeah guys i'm gonna go ahead and have my dinner please be safe out there and i'll talk to you soon